Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Business Owner Award winner is Kate Rees. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've had a really strange day. I didn't know what I was doing with myself. I didn't know if I'd be here or not. And I know that when I spoke to um, some of the other contestants and all the other people who are here, inspiring women, I, I know that many of them also found that um, their insecurities and so on were rising up. So I don't hope I'm not the only one. Um, and I think that that kind of leads me to I think the core of what I found my journey has been, which is in the face of adversity and in the face of difficulties and in the face of things that come up in our lives, that we have to dig deep and find the qualities that will allow us to really move, move forward and to bring the best of ourselves to situations. Um, my story, just to do a short version, was in uh, 2000, I gave birth to my daughter Amy, who has a disability, and it was a huge turning point in my life. She was a beautiful little baby, but every step of the way, we had to help her. She wasn't smiling at six months, she wasn't rolling over at 11 months, and we started the long journey that many parents know if they have a child with a disability that needs a lot of patience, a lot of inner resources, a lot of love, a lot of so many things, and it's challenging every day. And what I found was that being at home after I had to leave work, I really needed to find something that could help charge my inner resources so I had something to give back to Amy. And that was the seed for Table of Plenty. I looked inside and I decided that rather than be um, a victim of my circumstances. I wanted to find a way to lead an integrated life and to um, bring the things that I was passionate about into being. I love food, I love flavors, I love creativity. Bringing things together into a real physical product um, and result is something I'm passionate about. I also think that if you're gonna be in something for the long term, you need something that gives you longevity. And for me, that's a purpose that is greater than just making money, though that's obviously the lifeblood of any business. And when we formed our company, we decided that we wanted to integrate people with disabilities into the structure of the business. So we're very proud that they help in the packing of our products every day. And we hope to continue both within our organization and also since the state awards, I've had quite a few people approach and I hope that maybe I can help now to encourage other businesses how they could possibly look at integrating more people so we have a really inclusive in society that gives the best chance to everybody. Um, the third thing, thank you. The third thing was more personal, which was that we have a child who needs to be looked after for the rest of her life, even after we're gone. And that's a huge financial, I suppose, commitment that um, we suddenly had upon ourselves. Um, and we thought business was a good vehicle to hopefully manage that. So I'm just very proud and I really want to this time thank my team. Last time I was so overwhelmed <laughs> that I sat down and I went, oh my God, I didn't say thank you. Now I've got a beautiful team sitting over on table 52 and they all, yay, go team. <laughs> and they all bring such unique qualities, each one of them, joy, happiness, thoroughness, steadiness, they all have wonderful qualities. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for helping us on this journey. And also a big, big shout out to my husband who's in Europe and can't be with us today. If you see this video, I love you and I wish you were here. And I think that's it for me. Thank you very much. <laughs>